Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Popples Brasery and it's their Russian Imperial Stout. Project number two. Or zero, zero, 002 if you like. I've had a few comments. I've had this beer sat up in that cupboard in the window. And a few of you who have been watching from Sweden have said, nice little bottle of Russian Imperial Stout from Popples there. So... Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Many thanks to my good friend Johan for sending the beer. There we go. Look at the smoke on the opening. But another reason why I kind of dig this brewery, I think it's great. It's in a little French style lager bottle. And how different is that but how groovy groovy is that to put it it's still 330 mils but it's in a little french lager bottle great stuff um this is exactly what i was expecting from this beer uh did i mention it was 60 ibus and 8.5 percent abv um look at that Classic, classic Swedish, Norwegian, Danish style. So let's just say Scandinavian. A Scandinavian style stout. And the porters look like this as well. What I'm getting from this beer is body. Look at that wonderful tan coloured head. And that tan coloured head, you can more or less guarantee even Belgium great Belgium stouts Swedish stouts Norwegian stouts Scandinavian Belgium stouts let's call it that when you pour them they got this great tan colored head and boy don't that look good bubbles chasing the head there Oop. sacrilege thrown some away up the side of the glass Let's get the aroma before I throw any more away. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, that just smells absolutely fantastic. I could stand here sniffing this for the next five minutes. But I won't. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, mixed with a, a slightly chocolate, raisiny, alcoholic finish. It's sweet. It smells rich. Oh, and I'm going to dive in. Thank you. Wow, 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 full on, absolutely full on flavour. It's like a stout on steroids. It's like no other stout. It's just bang on, absolutely bang on. Oh, blimey. This beer is so bitter. It's so rich. It's so sweet. But it's all, all so balanced and between that bitterness and that sweetness. Loads of raisin in here. It's a very vinous imperial stout. Loads of dark red grape characteristics in the beer. It's 
creamy, it's chocolatey, coffee, caramel. It's it's like them little alcoholic chocolate. It's like an alcoholic bag of revels. The little sweets you get in the UK. Um, the raisins, the chocolates, the caramels, the coffee sweets. This is like an alcoholic version of that. It's, it's smashing. It's so good. So good. There's a little bit left. Let's get it in. But look at the way the head recreated itself, reinvigorated itself in that glass. It's one of them beers that I'm drinking it, then I'm drinking some more, and I'm drinking some more, and it's almost spoiling the beer. Because a beer like this should be, you should be in your armchair, chilling out, game of cards, or, or, or playing the ukulele, which I'm learning to play, or watching some TV or, or outside in the garden enjoying the time go by over a long period of time I'm saying about an hour but I've drunk half of this in in five six minutes and it's really it's it should be slowed down it should be you know it's not a beer that you drink like like a like a regular lag you down a lager or you drink it quickly it's not that at all so I'm going to rate it now and I'm going to go away and enjoy it and enjoy it I will this is wonderful stuff Katrina's favourite ok rating it's just great Really good beer. From the mouthfeel, from the initial burst of bitterness, to that balanced sweetness, to the alcoholic bag of revels, that chocolate coffee caramel, to that vinous taste. It's, it's just absolutely superb to that beautiful mouthfeel. Uh, this, for me, gets a huge 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.